Good morning. John Daniels is in the building. Hey, good morning. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. So I know you're ready for this interview. Tell us about Bixie. Bixie is a nonprofit association that is focused on advancing the ICT profession. We're all about the professionals that work in this industry and supporting them and their careers and helping them do the best job they can in, in their day to day work. And how does someone advance as an ICT professional? I think the best answer I could give is talking about our program triangle, which is what we like to call it. It starts with our standards and best practices. Uh, those standards and best practices that are developed by the people who are involved in Bixie, the professionals that work in the field themselves, uh, they develop these, uh, these resources and that feeds into our education program where, where folks come and learn the, from a hands-on perspective how to apply the standards of best practices. And then it moves into our certification program where they come and are able to demonstrate their expertise having gained those new skills and, and knowledge through the standards and the education program. Okay, and I see you're beside this beautiful signage. Uh, what type of events does Bixie put on? Uh, we do two conferences a year. We got our fall conference that's coming up in, in uh, September. And then we also do a winter conference that's typically in Florida. But this is a conference where our education comes in uh, to, to, to play. Uh, we bring our standards and publications for folks to, to peruse. Uh, but we also have an ex exhibition floor where a lot of the vendors and companies who operate in this space come and demonstrate new technologies, uh, new solutions, and it gives our attendees the ability to go and see what's happening on the show floor and all the new stuff that's coming out. But it also gives you a chance to network with others in the industry and to, to, to get to know people or even to just catch up with old friends. It's a great, uh, it's a great place to get together, right? So hope to see you there. All right, and so when you travel around to these various events, what is the one thing you can't fly without? Hmm, the one thing I can't fly without, I'd have to save my earphones. I, I take my earphones with me because I listen to a lot of music when I'm flying. So I need that to sort of escape the day-to-day -day grind, right? And then that kind of helps the flights go by a little bit faster. So uh, I gotta have my earphones. Okay, and what goes on in this area? Yeah, this is, this is a great space. We've got four of these classrooms where we're teaching all of our installation program uh, courses. We're teaching all of our project management courses. We're teaching our, our design courses uh, in this building as well. And this is just one of the places where, where it happens from an education perspective. The students come in from all over the world and they sit in with our world-class instructors and they go through whatever course it is they're going through and then they have hands-on demonstrations and they're tested. Uh, but this is where it happens and this is where folks are getting the skills and the knowledge uh, for whatever course that they're taking. Hey, what are those books over there? These are the resources that our students and other professionals use on a regular basis. I mean, these are the things that I was talking about earlier with the standards and best practices. They're all documented in these books and you can see it's a lot. So these are great resources to have on hand for any professional that's working in the industry. And what's that area there with all the lights? <laughs> I'm glad you noticed that. Not that, uh, you know, we're trying to hide it with the glass walls or anything, but uh, this is a data center, uh, seems pretty obvious, but what's special about this is that we had it built specifically to support our training program. So for example, for those who are coming here for the training, they could actually see the standards and the best practices, how they're applied in building up a data center. So this is, this is a great example, it's a showcase, we love it. Everybody that comes in talks about it. So um, I'm glad you asked about that. It's one of the things we like. And what did you do before Bixie? Uh, in which industry did you work? Before Bixie, yeah, I worked in healthcare. I was primarily um, in IT in healthcare. So I was a chief information officer for a while. I learned, I actually had a CCNA certification for a while. I learned how to terminate fiber. I learned how to terminate copper. If there's one message that you could get for anyone interested in ICT, what would that be? Be a lifelong learner don't stop learning. This industry is ever evolving and changing. And there's so many new technologies and new practices and new things that are happening. And the best way to stay on top of that and to continue to demonstrate your skills and your knowledge and your expertise in the industry is by continuing to educate yourself, taking the classes, going to the conferences, attending the webinars, anything else that uh, is available out there. 
don't pass up on it if you got the time to spend on it because all it's going to do is benefit you. It's not going to hurt you. It's going to benefit you. So keep that up. Bixie is a great place to do that. We've got all those resources, virtual, in-person, conferences, events, webinars, training courses. We got the, the manuals and standards and practices and uh, all of that. So get involved, get engaged. And plus you'll meet people who are trying to do the same thing you're doing, trying to advance their careers and trying to learn new things and to grow. So this gives you a chance to interact with them and to meet new people and allow yourself to be mentored or even become a mentor yourself. Uh, that that's stuff that happens uh, within Bixie. So I would encourage you to get involved in Bixie to help you through all of that. That's great messaging, uh, John. I really want to thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for asking. These are great questions. And I do hope and expect, if you will, to see you at the fall conference.